Yo, yo, yo. This is CPI Strength back with number five of this 10 part series on quick journal entry and learn account real easy. So we've gone over the first four. We went over DC Adler, <clears throat> DC Adler. Then we went over what they all stand for. Then we went over debit is left, credit is right. And then we went over debits always equal credits. So this one is, this one is, these are all in, if these are in normal balances or if they're going up, all right, we'll say norm, these are in normal balances or if the balance is going up, the debit side and the credit side, if they're going up in value, okay, increasing in value. Increasing in value. Increasing in value, okay? How would you know if, if, you, have an ass, if you have an asset, it's increasing in value, you debit it. If you have a withdrawal, increasing in value, you debit it, okay? Because that's on the deb. This is on the debit side. If you have an expense increasing in value, you debit it. If you have, now we'll go. So, <clears throat> if you have an asset, a with a draw, withdraw, shareholder distribution, or an expense increasing in value, you debit it. You put it on the left side of the equation, okay? Now, if you have a liability increasing, increasing in value, you credit it. If you have equity increasing in value, you credit it. If you have revenue increasing in value, you credit it. So that's, that's the deal. That's how you know where to put it. You say, oh, I have an asset increasing in value. Where would I put it? Well, these are always, these DC Adler, DC Adler is in the increasing normal values. If the value is increasing, that's that's number five. Now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go to number six here. All right, meet me in number six.